You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Saturday, March 23rd, 2024. Next week is Holy Week, so we have just a couple more martyrs to talk about. But today we are talking about our second Peter martyr, St. Peter Kebe from Japan. He has an incredible story about endurance. But before we get there, please join me in our Lenten prayer, St. Peter's Chains. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O God, who caused St. Peter the Apostle to depart, loosed from his chains and unhurt, loose we beg you the chains of our sins, and graciously keep all evils far from us. Bless us this Lent, and give us the faith of the martyrs. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, Blessed Peter Kebe. So, Blessed Peter Kebe, he lived in the 1500s. So, if you remember, we talked about St. Paul Miki earlier this week. He was martyred in the year 1597. At that time, Peter Kebe was just 10 years old. So, he was growing up in a Christian home. He watched these heroic priests offer their lives for Jesus as martyrs. And he was being formed at this time by Jesuit priests that were there secret. But when he was about that age, when all these men were dying as martyrs, Blessed Peter Kebe asked to leave with the martyrs. So he actually left Japan with a couple of Jesuits. He was determined to become a priest. However, as the time passed, the Jesuits, they just they just didn't really think he was called to the priesthood. They didn't think he had what it takes. So he traveled from one small island to the next, trying to find a group of missionaries that would train him as a priest. But they all said no. So, a teenager at this time, Blessed Peter Kebe, set out for Rome on foot. Now, if you've ever even glanced at a map, you know that Japan is very, 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 very far from Rome. It would be hard to get there in any case, but especially if you didn't have a boat or an airplane. So he walked, he walked through the Holy Land, he walked over 6,000 miles, and it took him years. It took him years and years. Eventually, he wound up in Rome. Six months later, he was ordained a priest, and the people in Rome begged him to stay. You know, it's very dangerous in Japan, you're probably going to die a martyr. Also, there was no way to get back to Japan. So what do you think Blessed Peter Kebe did? He walked back. Again, it took him years and years. Eventually, he ended up in India, and he was hoping to find a boat that would take him to Japan. But nobody would take him. He couldn't pay for it. He couldn't work for it. Eventually, he did find someone who would take him to Japan. But when they had just set out, pirates attacked their ship, and he got stranded somewhere else. Eventually, he decided that he would just build his own boat. So he set to work doing that. When he was done, however, the boat was infested with termites. So it was, it was had holes all over in it. But Blessed Peter Kebe knew he had to get back to Japan. So he plugged up the holes as best he could and set out for Japan. When they were approaching Japan, however, a terrible typhoon struck His ship was destroyed. He almost drowned, but he washed up on the shores of Japan. And after all of this, after years, in fact, it took him 24 years to get back to Japan as a priest. He knelt on the sand and thanked God that he was finally there. For the next nine years, Blessed Peter Kebe worked as a priest in Japan, offering the sacraments 
wearing disguises, sneaking around, baptizing, doing all of the sacraments. Eventually, he was betrayed and he was arrested, but he remained so joyful, so undetoured by the pain that eventually he had to be placed in solitary confinement because he was encouraging the other priests. He was converting his prison guards and he died joyful. And so Sprouts, today, as we remember Blessed Peter Kebe, I want you to reflect on this virtue of fortitude, fortitude, courage, inner strength and determination that comes from God. In what area of your life do you need increased fortitude? Is it school? Is it obedience? Is it athletics? Where is it? Where do you need increased fortitude? fortitude. Let's pray for that today through the intercession of Blessed Peter Kebe. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. This Saturday inside the clubhouse, we are hosting a call with Father James McCurry, who is a Franciscan friar. So if you'd like to join us, get all your questions about religious life answered from him. He's a delightful person. Please join us inside the clubhouse and clubhouse members, make sure that you have your calendars marked and that you show up live with all of your questions. To join or to find the link to get inside the clubhouse, just check the notes for this podcast episode. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.